Well, hello there, ladies and jelly spoons. I cannot lie, I forgot to film an introduction, so hello. You're about to witness me have a breakdown in this video, but it's fine because the end product, which I'm trying to hide from you, is uh, quite, quite wonderful. So grab your book, grab whatever it is you're doing. Let me just fix these <laughs> and uh, enjoy a very cozy little satisfying time lapse with a few occasional break-ins of me having a breakdown. But I'm obsessed. I'm so obsessed with how these look. It was so worth it. Every time I complain, take a, firstly, drinking game, take a shot every time I complain in this video. Secondly, it's very, all the complaining was very much worth it because I'm so obsessed with how my shelves look. And I want to buy loads of books, but I have no money, so. <laughs> Enjoy the video, kids. As I was about to start filming this, <laughs> let's cover up my address, let's not dox myself, although I probably have at some point. My big package came in for all of my bookshelves, so <laughs> let us see what has arrived. Yay! My fairy lights, I need new fairy lights, I go through fairy lights far too quickly. And I also got Kingdom of the Fear because I needed it. Why not? So, uh, I guess that means I have no excuse and I actually have to start now. That's not fun. If you can't tell already, this video is about me organising my bookshelves. We're about to go on a very intense, very long journey together. I hope you guys are excited. I hope you're ready. I hope you have snacks. I am going to put myself in physical pain for this video. You can probably tell. My bookshelves are a state. They have been a state for a very long time and I have just piles of books and i'll show you where i'm starting from in a minute but at, at the very least i have a plan of order of what i've got to do so first job is going to be an unhaul i need to clear out i need to be ruthless and i need to pick which books i'm just not going to read and take them off my bookshelf <laughs> which will go in a box in my wardrobe but we don't need to think about the fact i'm not really getting rid of them we just need to get them off my shelves so that is job number one then I need to take the rest of my books off my bookshelf but I need to do that in a specific way because I'm thinking so at the moment my bookshelf is organized by color I very much enjoyed it it was very pretty but it was not very practical <laughs> I see why people hate it now I want to do usually if I'm before this I've done vibes my bookshelves have just been based off vibes I want to do alphabetical order by author name, which is going to be a very large undertaking, especially for someone whose brain is not working like mine. Do I know the alphabet? Not really. But I need to take books off my shelf in alphabetical order, or at least in group of letters, so that they can go back on easier. The problem I have is I've already spent £200 on books yesterday because it was Boxing Day. <laughs> Don't shout at me, I'm already shouting at myself. I know, boo hiss, boo hiss. But they haven't turned up and I have a load of books at university which are gonna have to go on these shelves at some point but I don't remember what they are or who wrote them so that is gonna be something we just work through during this after that the fairy lights are coming off because these ones I've had a nightmare with they aren't working anymore they are brown taped to my bookshelves they just they need to come off most of it is like command strip some of it's like sellotape needs to come off and then I will put the new ones up if I can find some batteries it'll be easier to put them on empty bookshelves than full bookshelves I learned that last time because you can move the bookshelves better so after that is done then the books can finally go back on that is the order of business this is going to take me a few days because I am chronically ill and it hurts me to do much physical work in the day and obviously hefting books around not the greatest but I realistically I need it done by new year's day because I need to start uni work after that so we are about to embark on this journey together i'm glad you guys are with me i wouldn't want to do this without you because it's scary but yeah i will give you an overview of what we're working with and then i think i'm gonna go and get some leftover christmas pudding because i want some <laughs> and then i will start okay so stack of books where i'm filming <laughs> more stacks of books more stacks of books these were very kindly sent to me by walk books thank you very much um more stacks of books more stacks of books so there are just stacks of books on the bookshelves there's my favorites from where i just filmed that these were the two box sets of the penguin classics i got for christmas which i'm very excited about there's a stack of books there it's 
a mess. This is the state of the fairy lights we're working with. This is the state of the bookshelves. So she has a long way to go. I am aware of that, but she's gonna look better when she's had her little refresh. Hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> Oh well, I'm in my pyjamas, but I forgot to take my- but I haven't taken my makeup off yet, so it's quite the look. I'm too tired to do anything else today, and I don't have anywhere to put those books, which I need to do before I start this. So I am gonna go downstairs and eat some more Christmas food. I feel like I was really ruthless, and I'm really happy with that. Three cheers for me. This is the other problem area, because I had- I had this shelf double stacked, so I had to take all the Oxford World Classics off to be able to get to that, to unhaul that, so this, I can barely walk out the door, but you know what? We move, it's out of the way enough to be able to do stuff. Good morning, it's the next- it's not even good morning, it's the next day. I feel like ass. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to sleep in a minute, but I have successfully boxed up two boxes of books, but I need one more box because there's still a gorgeous stack of books there, despite my two enormous boxes being full. Yeah, very, very overwhelmed today. This is probably going to be all I do all day, unless I have a nap and I wake up feeling better, which who knows. But yeah, I will most likely see you all tomorrow. <laughs> I am in misery. I have successfully <laughs> put a load of books in my wardrobe. The only ones I have to do now are the Harry Potter ones up there that you can't see. But I'm gonna have a bath first because I'm so stressed. <laughs> I need a lovely calming bath before I start working on the shelves. <laughs> this is the worst thing I've ever decided to do. So, ow, I'm absolutely surrounded by books. Right, several things have been accomplished. I have taken all these books off. They are all in piles, alphabetically. My lovely mummy helped me do it. Well, I say alphabetically, they're in like, I have also put my jammies on because. So this is what you're getting for the rest of the video. I'm not gonna apologize for being mentally ill. I put the lights up. I did not film that because it was the most stressful thing ever. I've also had to buy new batteries, which I didn't buy, and more lights, both of which aren't going to be here on time, so I'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. Right now I've got to focus on getting these books back on these shelves. I have several key problems. Number one, I'm knackered. <laughs> Moving this lot off was hard work. I'm chronically ill. This is really hard. <laughs> Two, I still don't think I've got enough space. And like, if I don't, what do I do? Because there's like, I'm at my limit now, unless I get rid of, I could potentially get rid of my TV and my chair and I could have a bookshelf there. But right now I'm just gonna worry about putting everything on my shelf. I can't remember what problem number three was now. If you watch my unhaul, you may now realize that it was, um, I was rubbish at unhauling. Half of the books, part of the series that I were unhauling were still like on the shelf. So I have now got rid of them. 
I don't I don't know how to tackle this because so so over here this is A to E there's so many why did we put A to E and not like A to C but I'm gonna have to take all of these down and put them in alphabetical <laughs> and I have more packages to open I did this to myself <laughs> So what we're going to do is ignore my brother's shit music in the background, but I uh, opened packages because I bought loads of books from Amazon. But um, Mia bought me Finding Her Edge by Jennifer Yakpelli. I've um, I unboxed it on my TikTok, but I don't know if you watched my TikTok, but um, thank you so much. I am genuinely so grateful. I did a little cry, but it's okay. It was like a happy cry. <laughs> He really did not have to do this and I'm so... Thank you so much. <laughs> I remember the, the problem because it just hit me for fourth. Is I'm getting cramps before my period, which is gonna be a nightmare because if it comes tonight, I'm screwed. At least if I can get till tomorrow morning, I'll have tonight to do this. But yeah, I'll be out for a day once my period comes. I've, for some reason, the Mimulus Rewind just brings those cramps on. What can I say? But that's my third problem. <laughs> There'll be a fourth in a minute that I, I exist to have problems, but... I think the, I've got a solution to what I'm going to do about these is I'm going to put them on the shelves just in piles and then do them alphabetically from that. It's probably quite counterproductive but it works in my head and it's less to do all round so you're welcome. So I did A, if you can't tell by the absolute state of me, I'm very sweaty because I had to reach all the way up to the top and I just got my phone pad to look at the time lapse because, you know, I'm a YouTuber. I filmed the wall the whole time. The wall. Insert a clip. What the hell? All of that took me like 40 minutes. It was really hard work. I legitimately can. I, I filmed 40 minutes of the wall. I'm such a professional, honestly. You might be able to tell from the sheen of sweat on my head that I have successfully organised A to E. The problem is, we've already done about like two fifths of the bookshelf. There were a lot of bees. I got quicker as I was doing it and I learned the alphabet. Um, I didn't really want to like stack them sideways. I wanted them all to be along, but that just wasn't going to happen because there's just too many. She's looking a little ropey, but she's in alphabetical order and that's what I wanted. I don't know what I'm going to do if I run out of space. I'm trying to think already and I'm like, I have no idea, but let's just hope and pray. <gasps> I've just realised I've left all of Cassandra Clare. I haven't put Clare. Oh, fuck. I'm so bad at this. They're literally all still there. I don't know what to do. Fuck. <laughs> So now I actually have done A to E because Cassandra Clare is on the shelf. We've taken up even more space. This is not going to go well, but I want to play Spyro and stop sweating. So I'm going to go downstairs for a bit. The problem is I cannot go to bed until I get these books off my bed. It doesn't, like, even if they're just on the floor. 
but I literally cannot go to bed until they're off. So, um, oh dear. <laughs> The next pile I have to tackle, and then it's that, and then there's one over there. This is the last pile, so I think they're gonna have to come off, and I'll do them tomorrow, but oh dear. Good morning, what are we on? Day, I don't want to know, day three, day four? <sighs> Whoever thought tackling this was a good idea is severely mistaken. Um, I got very overwhelmed last time, because they are not going to fit. <laughs> I say, as like three more packages turn up at my door filled with books. Um, so my lovely mummy is going to help me today <laughs> because she's a lot better at organising than I am. I think we're going to clear off the top shelf of my DVDs and put them behind my chair so that I have an another shelf to work with. And then we might start double stacking as well, which makes me sad. But as long as they're all on, I don't care. <laughs> it's New Year's Eve today. I'd like to be done by the end of the day, given I woke up at 11 o'clock unlikely <laughs> yeah that's where we're at that's where we're at i have no space i just wish i could buy like two more bookshelves and everything would be so simple but i don't have space in my room so maybe i need to like calm it on the book buying but also like i'm addicted and that's how i get my serotonin so i don't think it's gonna be stopping anytime soon i'm just gonna have to start piling them up next to the bookshelves again anyway enjoy some more lovely time lapses my my ankles hurt my back hurts I'm in misery, <laughs> but it's fine. I am enjoying holding lots of books. It makes me very happy inside, but <laughs> the stress of it does not. <laughs> Bonjour, so it's about quarter past two. We are making some excellent progress, I have to say. I have come down to have a very exciting time playing Spyro for a break. Um, we've had very few minor, I've, I'm in less of a pickle, put it that way. I'm getting a lot better at it and doing it quickly and playing, I like to say, Book Tetris, which is a very fun game. I have had a small problem of when we finished to come down and have a rest. I haven't put George R. R. Martin in with the M books, so I've gone on to, I think I've got to like K now. No, that wouldn't work. I think I've got to like N or O now, and uh, didn't put the Game of Thrones books in, so I'm gonna have to problem solve there, but we'll, we'll see. It's going quicker. I think we'll be done by the end of the day, and it looks good. I'm like, kind, I kind of don't want to do that time lapse for like the end of it because I want to do like a big reveal. But then I'm like, oh no, because it's really satisfying to watch. So I guess in the rest of this video, you're going to see what I decided to film. But yeah, I'm actually having a lot of fun. It hurts, like my feet hurt and my back hurts because I am not a wild child. But I'm actually really enjoying it. It's really fun. It's what I wanted it to be. And I'm just looking at all these books and I'm like, I want to read you now. I have had to put some behind and like double stack some. And I still don't know if I'm going to make it to the end and have enough space. I think I'm like three rows down up to N. So we'll see. It's book chicken. We'll see who wins, me or the chicken. Put it that way. Uh, my mum has faith. I do not. So I guess we will find out. <laughs> Thank you. 
couple of days later and uh, my lights have finally arrived my lights and my battery so i can finish my bookshelf um i'm all wet i'm in my pajamas i've got wet hair i haven't got makeup on i'm not doing very well up here but it's fine that's a whole other story <laughs> right now i'm trying to untangle these goddamn lights and i thought we could have a little chat while i try because why not i feel like this video didn't come out how i anticipated it would i thought it was going to be like a really chatty little vlog and it's not but i don't mind that it was kind of, it's like a nice lo-fi organization thing and i'm not mad about that I actually don't know where the end of these lights are. I feel like I've made this more tangled than it was to start with, but you know what? I'm so obsessed with how my bookshelves look. I literally, I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm like, I'm obsessed. Oh, we're getting there, we're getting there. No, we're not, no, we're not. <laughs> and I can't wait to put these lights on them to, so I can like actually have the full vibe of them because they're gonna be stunning. And I have space. So I've put a load of books like behind, like tucked in double stacked almost, ones that like I'm not so mad about not seeing. But like, so I still know they're there. And it's meant I've got two whole, oh my god, I think I've entangled them. But it's meant I've got two whole like um, shelves left of space, which makes me feel so much less bad. Is that a word? Is that a thing? It's, it makes me feel so much better. That's That's the phrasing about buying books because i'm like actually i do have the space to put them there so <laughs> oh my god i've untangled them okay now i've got to put them up so i have enough lights to go all the way around and all the way across the um oh the shelves my english is not doing good today is it i haven't once checked that these are going to go all the way across but you know what hope and a prayer a hope and a prayer that seems to be what i dropped the cellar tape that seems to be what i'm running on anyway these days so i might accidentally take billy boy clinton here that's not great is it well they do fit but like too well there's too much over the end so i don't quite know what i'm gonna do but well i think i'll just tape it to the side i can tape it to the side right yeah oh it's gonna look so good you guys have no idea I'm out of breath, but the first one has been mounted. And I ended up just winding it around my TV, which I need to get rid of because it's broken anyway. But we move. Let us untangle another packet. So, yeah, I'm in a really reading. Every time I look at my bookshelf, I want to read books, which, funnily enough, I'm not even reading books from my bookshelf. I'm reading books on my Kindle. <laughs> I finished a book called The Execution Channel yesterday which was very good it was like alternate history but also a bit sci-fi which was exciting because i haven't read very much sci-fi in the last year and i really want to because i enjoy it very much um so i need to write that in my new very exciting reading journal which i've put on my ipad i bought one off etsy like i bought the template off etsy and it was super cheap and it's so cute i love how it looks so i think i'm gonna start making videos about with that on my tiktok because i feel like it's just gonna be like update videos like if you want to see me do like a big spread or something maybe i can do like one on here but i just don't want to like waste you guys time <laughs> um so yeah i will link the one i bought uh in my description because i like it a lot oh my god look i untangled that so easily i'm literally a genius and then the other book I'm reading at the moment is like a dark romance, which again, I spoke about how I don't really talk about them on my channel, that I read them. This is like a bully, like, um, what's the word? College US romance. The worst part is I can't actually fault the writing. Like the writing is quite good. The toxicity is also very much there, but you know. Yeah, so I'm like 96% of the way through that. I need to take this up now, hang on. <laughs> So I'm probably going to finish that book this afternoon. Hello again. I'm probably going to finish that book this afternoon. And then I'll have to choose a new one. I'm also still reading um, The Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf. So I have that I can read as well. I really should be doing work, but you know. 
I'm just looking at all my books and I'm like, wow, like there's so many I can read like right now and I just don't have the time right now, which is depressing. Yeah, in case anyone's wondering how I'm putting these up, uh, very badly, I have command strips around the sides. So like the ones that go around the bookshelf are hung up by that and then some tape and then these I'm literally just taping on. I keep just looking up and I'm like, oh my god, I have so many books. Like, I'm kind of living my dream. Like, when I was a kid, I could have only dreamt of this. You know when, like, you were, like, I watched, like, so many booktubers, like, with their massive book collections. And I was like, I've wanted to be that so bad. And now I kind of am that, which is weird. I mean, by no means am I comparing myself to, like, Christine Riccio and, like, actual big booktubers. But you know what I mean? Like, I have enough, so many books that... They could keep me going for years and yet I still keep buying them. <laughs> but I've got two empty shelves to fill now, so... You know what? I'm gonna concentrate on this and I will come back when it's all pretty and nice. I love her. I love her so much. Look at that line. I'm actually obsessed. I'm obsessed. I could sit and stare at them all day. They are in a rough alphabetical order. I say rough because I did have to play book Tetris to uh, jam them all on and make sure I still had space. But I think it looks really good. And I, it's weird going from having the rainbow shelves where you like don't really know where anything is to knowing exactly where every book is. Like I know what each letter is it's very exciting i feel like i have the beginnings of my own little library i can't stop reading and it's put me in such a reading mood i just want to read all the time which is really terrible because i can't i have to do work i love them so much so all that effort all that physical exertion was very much worth it because i am obsessed I love it. So I have a cute new background for my new videos. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed this very chaotic video. I apologise for it not quite being what I set out for it to be, but I feel like the end product was worth it. Maybe drop a like if you did like it, or subscribe, maybe. I don't know, and I will see you in my next video.